The PNGR reveals appointment of SP Hunter's new coach, Matthew Church, comes after former coach Michael Marum announced his resignation during the year three months into his renewed contract. Matthew Church, a carpenter by profession, has coached different teams over the years. He was the Sunshine Coast Falcons assistant coach this season before taking up the role as head coach of the SP Hunters. I originally started coaching at, at, at East Tigers. Uh, it, with their under 18s and their under under 20s side, um, moved on from there to to work with the Melbourne Storm under 20s for two years. Um, was then head coach of their development squad for a year, and this year uh, took up the role as assistant coach of the Sunshine Coast Falcons, who had a, um, a history history making season. There were 14 applications received, with three being Papua New Guineans, while 11 came from applicants overseas. An independent committee was set up to screen all applicants to submit their recommendations to the board to approve. Uh, we felt that the team needed uh, something dynamic to invigorate and you know resuscitate the club. So when the shortlist was done and the recommendations came in, we saw through uh, Matt's uh, CV that he brings to him not only a wealth of footballing experience, but he brings to him his networking. Church aims to help develop and educate coaches and players about the game during his time with the SP Hunters. Taking over from coach Michael Marum will be a huge task for Church, and he's looking forward to the challenges ahead. Um, with that comes challenges and, and, and development um, issues below that. So I'm looking to work with the Digicel Cup coaches when, when, I, when I assume the role um, about education and development, not only for the players but for the staff as well That's that, um, with the SB PNG Hunters, um, but also Digicel Cup level. So um, able to assist in any, any capacity I, I can. Church will start the SB Hunters pre-season training camp next week Monday with 35 players to assemble in Port Moresby. Uh, we'll finalise the, the squad of 35 in the, in the coming days, uh, notify the, um, them and we'll do a press release about that, about who's coming into camp. Um, from there we'll, we'll do a four week block till Christmas, um, we'll, we'll finish around the 21st just before Christmas and send them all on a break and, and give them some, a bit of homework to do um, and then hopefully um, everyone comes back willing to start fresh on Monday the 6th and then we, we lead into the season with two trial games. So we have a trial game here before the NRL against the Central Queensland Capras and then the following week in uh, Cairns we are playing the Northern Pride. Elijah Levette, National MTV Sports.